Take a look at these things. Brand new tile trackers. You essentially attach these to different things in your life and then it'll help you keep track of them. What I'm gonna do for you guys is unbox each one of these trackers. And you gotta stick around for the third one because I think that one is by far the coolest and most unique. And then I'm gonna show you how I set one of these trackers up on my Google phone. I'll show you the process step by step. <laughs> Check it before you wreck it. What's up my fellow geeks? I'm Kirk and here they are, the brand new tile tracking devices. If you've ever heard of the Apple AirTag or the Samsung SmartTag, well, these are very similar, but Tile has been doing this for quite a long time. The question is, can they keep up with Apple and Samsung? So first things first, we've got to get these things unboxed. But again, stick around for the third one because nobody else is doing a tracker like that. And I'll show you my process of setting it up step by step. Let's get these over to the table. Inside this box are three of the four brand new tile trackers, and I can't wait to check them out. Take a look at inside the box. Family proof your family. Tile it, track it, find it. Your can't find my stuff days are behind you. That seems to be their slogan, which is pretty cool and pretty effective. Seems to make sense for what they're doing here. Flipping the flap open, I've got pictures on a little insert here of all the new tile trackers. So this is the Tile Pro on the right. And then the second one is the Tile Slim, the Tile Sticker, and finally the Tile Mate. So we're gonna check out three of these four new devices. On the back of this card, you've got a QR code. Setup is easy, scan to get started. And we'll try that in just a second. I'm gonna show you that setup process. Okay, so what do we got here? This is the new Tile Mate. Find lost or stolen stuff. This one attaches to your key ring. This is the new Tile Slim, the one that goes inside a wallet or a backpack or a purse. And finally, the Tile Sticker, which is self-explanatory. It sticks to stuff like a remote, as you can see in this picture. And then look at the bottom of the box. It says, now with SOS, we're not just protecting your lost and stolen things, we're helping you stay safe too. Tile by Life360. Of course, Life360 bought Tile. And SOS is a feature where you can basically use the Tile to alert your friends and family that you're not in a good situation. And the way that works is it's 100% discreet, doesn't make any noise. Great if you keep one of these tiles in a pocket of a jacket on campus, for example. So here is the Tile sticker. That, again, is the one that sticks to devices. The Tile Slim. And finally, the Tile Mate. All three of these I'm going to unbox right Right now and then I'll show you the setup process and I'll start with this one this is the tile sticker sticks to remotes bikes and more for easy finding this is the smallest of the four new trackers and uh, on the back it says find your things play a sound on your tile from 250 feet away so this one works 250 feet away a three-year non replaceable battery that's important use tile to make your phone ring even if it's on silent so you can use it to find your phone and make your phone ring and stay safe with SOS that's the feature I talked about where you can discreetly use it to trigger an alert to your friends and family who are in your circle on the Life360 app. You can see a picture here of what that notification would look like, and that's pretty much it. Let's get this thing opened up. All right, we've got the side ripped off, and we'll open up the flap here so we can check out the tile sticker. You can see on the inside, it says setup is easy. It's got that QR code again, scan to get started. We'll do that in just a bit. And then it's got that slogan, you, your can't find my stuff days are behind you. You're seeing it in both English and in French. So I'm assuming this device or at least this model is for likely America and Canada. Okay, so popping this open inside, we've got the tile sticker. And that's pretty much it. Not like you need much else more. <laughs> Very simple and oops, all right, I lost it. Let me grab that. So this again is the smallest of the four and it's pretty simple device here. You can see it's got a removable sticker on the back. This is the adhesive and like you saw on the front of the package, that's because this one is designed to stick to things. They show it on a remote on the outside of the box, but certainly you could stick it to a bike. You could stick it to anything that you're worried about getting stolen, but you'll want to make it discreet so somebody can't find it and just simply rip it off. Uh, that's again, that piece of plastic comes off. I'm not going to pull it off all the way, but you can see where that comes off. So you can stick that to something. Oops, I pushed the button on the front 
and looks like it made a little noise. That's the noise it makes when you power this thing up for the first time. Next, this is the Tile Mate and basically similar technology, but this one's got a hole on it. So it's sort of designed to attach to a key ring, kind of like the Samsung Smart Tags in that sense. And uh, on the back, find your things. This one works from up to 350 feet away, a three-year non-replaceable battery. Find your phone. Again, you can use it to make your phone ring and it's got that SOS feature as well. Let's open it up. All right, we've ripped the strip and we will go ahead and pull the flap open. Very similar box. In fact, pretty much the same box. Setup is easy, scan to get started. Your can't find my stuff days are behind you. And we'll open up the flap to check out the tile mate. And inside the box, you have the tile mate. Tile packaging is 100% recyclable. I didn't see this on the other one, but I probably just missed it. So this is obviously all cardboard packaging here. And there it is. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can pull this guy out. It's a little bit larger than the tile sticker for sure. But again, it does have a longer range. It's got that button on the front. And then let's see what it looks like on the back of this device. So on the back, you've got uh, three little holes. And there you go, a QR code that says, scan me if found. So people know what it is that they found. They can scan it. They can help to return it to you, I'm assuming. And I'll compare this to the tile sticker that I just showed you. You can see those three little holes. That's where the sound comes out of when it beeps. And you've got those same three little holes on both devices. And the button, again, on the front of this tile but the button is also on the front of the tile sticker. Okay, so that's the sound it makes when you first push it and you're trying to pair this with your phone, which we will do in just a bit. But pretty simple device, pretty much what you'd expect from a tracker device would be great on your keychain. And then there's this one, which I think is the most interesting because this is a form factor that Samsung and Apple just aren't doing. It's a slim form factor. Slip into wallets, luggage, and more for easy finding, which I think is the most common usage for these. Things like suitcases, purses, wallets, it, you know, and it's thin enough for that. So find your things. This one does 350 feet, also a non-replaceable battery. Find your phone. It's got that SOS feature as well. Very similar as what we saw with the other one. It shows that SOS notification on the back as well. Let's pull that strip. Once again, the same packaging as we saw with the other devices, the exact same uh, inside literature, if you will, set up as easy. Your can't find my stuff days are behind you. I will pull the flap so we can check this one out because again, this one is a drastically different form factor. It is the size of a credit card designed to fit into your wallet, among other things. Again, it could go into the storage pocket on your backpack or inside of a suitcase. And it's pretty thin, honestly. I mean, it's got some thickness to it. Uh, it is pretty thin. It's got that QR code to scan if found on the back as well, just like the other one did. And it also has on the front, it's got that button too, just like the other ones did as well. Let me flip it over here so you can see that. It's the logo, that's the button. It's got the three holes for the speaker. So it's basically the same technology as the Tile Mate, just built into a very thin, flat format, the size of a credit card. Here's the Mate. You can see those three holes for the speaker, just like we had on the Mate. And again, the exact same size button. I'll push it on the Slim here, but you can see the thickness difference, right? You can see how slim the Slim is compared to the Tile Mate. It's not as slim as a credit card, but maybe two credit cards? Yeah, let me show you that. I've got a Home Depot credit card here, and you can see it right next up to the Tile Slim. And again, the Slim is probably as thick as two, maybe two and a half credit cards, but certainly about the thickness of one of those badges that you use at work to badge into work, to scan into work. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think it's a good size, will fit into your wallet with no problem whatsoever. In fact, I'll show you me sliding it into my wallet right here. And I would probably slide it right into the back where you put money and, and dollar bills, for example. It doesn't add a ton of thickness. If you already have a thick wallet, this isn't even gonna be noticed. I'm telling you, it's the exact same thickness as one of those cards that a lot of us use to scan into our doors at work. I think this is pretty cool. I think it's the most fascinating one out of these three. I'll push the button so you can hear that sound again when you activate and turn on the tile devices. I just think compared to what other people are doing, no one else is doing this. So I think this is gonna be a popular model. Okay, so let's walk through the setup process. And this is gonna be exactly the same no matter which tile device you're setting up. I'll do the Slim simply because this is the one I have. I'm gonna scan the QR code, see where that takes me. And it looks like it takes me to a website, get started in the tile app. That's basically telling me to select my device. This works on iPhone, this works on Android. 
I just installed the app before I shot this video, so I already have it ready to go. I open the app and we've got to get started. Looks like I need to select what I want to add. All right, calm down device. I'm coming, I'm coming. Do I want to add a, a computer, a laptop, a fitness tracker? So it works with other devices, not just these tile tags, as we know they have a partnership with other companies, but let's hit tile devices, because that's what I'm adding. And it looks like I need to create an account, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so account is created and now it's time to move on. Allow nearby devices so Tile can work properly. Of course, it's gonna need permissions. This is a Bluetooth device that needs a lot of permissions and access to your phone in order for it to work all the time, even when your phone is turned off in sleep mode. So we will allow that permission and we will tap allow. This is obviously gonna be different on iPhones than it is this is an Android uh, Google Pixel device. Location access set up in two steps. Enable location access to allow all the time. So of course I will allow that while using the app it's being very explicit about how to do this which ones to pick because I'm assuming if you don't pick the right ones it just doesn't have the right access so location access set up in two steps and here's the second step it's telling me to select allow all the time which makes sense it wants me to give it access to my location all the time and then I'll hit the back button and jump back to ensure you've got the best experience when using Tile, please confirm your home location. So it's just asking me if this zip code is correct. Also, do you want to allow unrestricted battery use? It is needed for some features such as ringing your phone. This makes sense, although it always worries me when apps want this sort of permission because if they're not written properly, it could really drain your battery. Do you want to allow push notifications? Of course, I want to allow that. That would make sense that the app would want that. And now we've got to activate the tile. So this is just saying push the button on your tile, my tile slim. I will push the button. It says click the tile button once to begin activation. It'll play a nice tune. Tap next to continue. So I can do that. I will tap the next button on the app to move forward. All right, looking for your tile. Hold your tile next to your phone. It may take up to 10 seconds connecting to your tile. That didn't take 10 seconds. Great, tile is now activated. So that was pretty simple. That was pretty easy. The, the app totally did all the work for you. It is asking me, what will you use your tile for? So I'm assuming this is to classify the tile and pick the proper icon for the tile. You can see it's got car, bike, backpack, ID badge, briefcase, luggage, camera, health, miscellaneous, or you can even select other. Of course, I'm gonna go back up and select wallet. Since this is the tile slim, I think this is what a lot of people are gonna be using it for. So I will pick wallet and then I will select next. Okay, so try finding your tile, tap find to ring your tile. So let's tap find. Well, that was almost instantaneous. Of course, the tile is right next to my phone, so that makes sense. We're done there. Would you like to turn on find your phone? Double press the logo on your tile or tap the find my phone on your tile enabled device. Okay, I'll mess with that later. That's if I want to use my tile device to find my phone. Now it's asking me to keep track of the things that matter. Choose a plan. I don't want to choose a plan. It says I can try premium for free, but I, I don't really want to do that. Of course, there is a subscription, as you can imagine, Life360, they're all about subscriptions, and so many companies are. So there are some features that are going to be behind a paywall, it looks like, although that doesn't mean you can't use it if you don't subscribe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just hit skip for now because I do wanna test this out without the additional features that come with the, the premium membership because I'm not sure most people wanna pay for that after just buying this tracker. Okay, do you wanna set up SOS? Again, this is that option where you can use the tile tracker to send an SOS out without any sort of sound coming out of the tracker. I'm gonna X out of that and set that up later. But now we're in the app, you can see I've got my Pixel 7 Pro and then I'll tap on the wallet because that is the device I just set up. This is the location history, excuse me. And again, we haven't had this on for very long it's only been in one location, so there's not much location history there. I'm curious to see what that looks like once we start moving around. You've got item reimbursement. That's a premium feature. You can find your phone. So let me actually turn this on. I skipped this and set up, but I'll turn it on now. And this makes it so I can use my tile tracker to actually find my phone. Let's see how this works. Okay, so hear it ringing. So that's the, the noise that my phone would make. You can see the notification at the top. I will say, yes, I found it. So that's pretty easy. You just hit the button on the tile tracker and it then brings your phone, which is great for finding your phone from the tracker device, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. So there you can see it's showing my signal strength. This is for finding my tile tracker. If I'm trying to find my wallet in my house, for example, and it's connected, but I don't know where it is. 
Let's go down and see what else we got. So we've got a ringtone option. So we can actually change the ringtone sound that this makes. And it looks like they've got a bunch of different options. It's very loud. Jumping beans, county fair, to and fro. I'll go ahead and save on this. Okay, what other features do we have down here? There's a more options on the bottom. Let me tap that, see what's in there. Looks like it uh, shows you're in the name, the category, the volume setting. If you wanna transfer the tile, replace the tile, hide the tile, uh, upgrade to premium membership, shows you when this device was activated and the FCC information down there as well. But a lot of things that you probably won't be accessing very often. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm pretty impressed, very simple setup, seems cool. Can't wait to test this out in the real world. I'm really going to put this to the test. We've got the Tile Slim, we've got the Tile Mate, and we've got the Tile Sticker. All right, what do you guys think? Are you buying the new Tile Trackers? Did you already purchase them? What do you think compared to Apple AirTags and Samsung Smart Tags? I think the biggest question is, does Tile have a big enough network, especially now that they're working with Google, to track these tags out in the wild? Love to read your comments. I read every single one. I will comment back on every single one. Test me, I promise. And I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow here on YouTube. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.